So hi everyone, this is Dumb is Live, and today I'm here to showcase the brand new game mode that has been added today. I told you guys about this, I think a week or two ago, and it is finally here. I told you guys that it was coming. It was leaked DLC, and it is here. Now, this one is called Every Bullet Counts. There's two other game modes that will be released this week as well, I assume, and I'll be sure to showcase those as well. Now, what's cool about this game mode is that it allows us to play in a brand new area that we have not seen before online. Um, as you guys can see here, we're inside one of the nightclubs. I mean, could this mean that um, some nightclub DLC is going to happen? I don't know. I'm about to hit this guy. Oh, oh, this guy should be dead now. He should be freaking dead now. Hit him with a roll. We hit him once. Got him. Yes, yes, yes. So we got one kill there. Our, our health is freaking low, man. Oh, my days. It is low. I don't know how we're going to win this. Oh, no one. What? Okay. Oh, there's a radar there, too. I didn't notice that. I don't know if I could always see that or not, but let's go around here. Here he is. Yeah, no. No. <laughs> what was that? That's so stupid. I went to swing and I hit the wall. I didn't I know that was going to happen, man. That was, such, that was such a joke. Oh, my God. <laughs> That was like one of the biggest jokes ever. Hope you guys are having a good laugh at that. <laughs> Two bullets, one life, no mercy. The assemblage of GT Online adversary modes for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Grow stronger today with the release of the brand new Every Bullet Counts, an intense last man standing variant with a unique twist to keep you on your toes and constantly on your guard. With no place to hide, four players go up against each other in a confined space with very limited arsenal. Just one marksman pistol, two bullets to take out three opponents. Once you've exhausted your ammo, you need to resort to a crafty melee attacks with your hatchet or machete to make it out alive. Tooth and Claw is the order of the day as free for modes demand specific skills of its participants, including marksmanship, Stealth and timing. Campers and lurkers, be warned. Anyone staying still for more than five seconds will have a blip reveal on the map, making them an easier target for enemies who are wisely moving from cover to cover. This game mode also features a few of its own locations in GTA Online, including Michael's Rockford Hills Mansion and the Tequila Lala Nightclub. To make it easier for you to dive in this new mode, we set up a featured playlist which will let you play all four of these new maps one after another with just a single button press during the GTA 5 launch. Look out for the prompt when you boot up the game to get straight into the action. So anyway, I got a chance to play this. Now, me personally, I think that it's a good mode. I can't wait to check out the other modes that we're gonna be receiving very soon. I told you guys about Slasher versus the Beast. So, I mean, that seems pretty cool. There's another one. I think it's called Distraction. I can't wait to see what that's about. Hopefully, we'll see the rest of these this week. Can't wait to see. Now, I will say this. It's not better as Slasher, but it's still a good mode. I want you guys to go out and play it. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. I wish that once you killed someone or you hit them with a bullet, you would regenerate another bullet. In a way, I hate the fact that you have the melee weapon, but hey, that's just me. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think. This is Dom is Live, and I'm out, and I'll see you guys later today with some more GTA videos.